each in our legal stage list. But hey, you know what? If that's where they want to go, that's where they want to go. Maybe one of them's just playing it to get it off the board. Who knows? And speaking of glitchy stages, we got glitch coming up this weekend. Glitch and today, five, baby, is the last day. <gasps> oh! So Sign up. Yeah, Yana, Yana was telling us, all right, quit the shill. Like, just go ahead and advertise. Uh, stop advertising. Okay. Talk about the match. Okay. He's like, you're going to miss something hype. Okay. Because if he's already starting off with that PK Thunder 2 missile, almost breaking that shield that in the first scary. 30 seconds. That was wild. But we got an even game. We sure do. Ooh, sending that man ablaze. That must have not felt very good. Definitely. I imagine this uh, stage is actually kind of difficult to manage for Ness. I feel like you can't use a lot of things. Like I saw a couple times PK fire just wasn't working out. Yeah. And you know, it's a couple things. You know, like the uh, the gunman kind of blocks PK fire that we've seen a couple times, and just the natural slant of the stage. So. Yeah. Very wonky stage. I'm surprised. I mean, I guess Ness likes the stage in general because of this side blast sounds. For um, sure. Yeah. But even still, wonky stage. So. Actually, you know, it's funny. I, I saw him shoot that PK fire there. It kind of looked like he was almost aiming for the gunman. I'm not sure if maybe that's part of the strat to, like, uh, have the gunman proc it there and then make your own wall. Maybe. I'm not sure if that's part of the strat or if he's just uh, he's just missing. But I think... Ooh. Okay. I have no idea how strong this is. <laughs> <laughs> Barely strong enough to not quite combo. Yeah. <laughs> like, the worst possible strength. Yeah. Ooh. We Chef got the almost ending it with that down smash. But, you know, I think, you know, it's going to be uh, really what Chef wants to do is just keep Ness in a bad position because he's out of the percent for, like, any true kill confirms. That can almost taking it. Wait, wait, were you saying Ness kill confirms? No, no, I meant Chef. I okay. Said, I said, did oh, I yeah. say Ness? I meant Chef. Okay. Maybe I heard you wrong. But regardless, actually, with all this rage, I got to Yelma getting the back throw and just taking it. I mean, that, yeah, that's all he needs to do, just get a grab. And, um, but speaking of grabs, Chef is the one to begin them. I like that uh, I like that fairly aggro approach has come in with the... Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, is the Nair going to kill? Nair. Wow, Nair Awful. killing uh, Max Rage, only 110% it looked like? Yeah. That's nutty. That nutty like, decently heavy too, so... Yeah. Very strange, getting the forehead. You know, I was actually playing... Uh, Earthbound yesterday, and he kept doing that same thing where he would, um, it's not down throw, I think it's forward throw or something, um, to forehead instead of forward air. And I thought that was interesting. Hmm. Maybe that's just better? I, don't know. I think it, like, sets up for another grab or something, maybe? Not sure. Maybe. Or an up tilt. But, uh, we're gonna see him get a little bit of a hit from the can there that's gonna take his stock. 200% though, he definitely made the most out of that stock. And right now he's putting on the percent even Oof. faster, 66%. The amount of pummels right there. I love Ness's pummel. I he's think just headbutting you. He's got to be going for something with that grab release, because that's the yeah. second time he's just pummeled until then. Or maybe he's just, you know, doesn't feel like pressing other buttons. Yeah, but you've got to think too, like with the with with someone's recovery as bad as Duck Hunt's, that's you true. think you just want to put him off stage. But the fact that he went for the, the release specifically twice? Yeah. I don't know. Ness is a funky character. We definitely don't see enough of them to really get a good feel for what some of his setups are. Yeah. Funky indeed. I think so. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. The auto canceled up there into the double jab. Put him off stage. I feel like for... So Duck Hunt, you know, he likes stuff there to kill with that move at least. And I feel like that's going to be really hard to get on Ness because he's so floaty. I feel like he'll fall out or do something weird. And back throw is going to be. Yeah. That back throw is strong. Strong. Well, uh, at least for Sheth, we can say that he's probably not going to go back there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I, was, I wasn't I was feeling, I just thought that was a strange pick for the matchup in general for the first stage. I mean, I guess you don't want to take Ness to Smashville. No, but... but I don't know. Maybe better I, choices than Lila. He did, he played it well though, all yeah. things considered. We are seeing uh, the stage switch to Dreamland and the character switch to Lucas. Uh, this is actually what I expected to see from the get go. So I'm not sure if maybe Yama kind of learned something about the matchup that he felt more comfortable with Lucas in or what. But perhaps already, like we're seeing a little bit more of a, an aggressive kind of entrance too, jumping in with a PK fire in the air and getting a little bit of damage, but still kind of I don't know. I feel like already it just feels like he's more comfortable moving forward. Yeah. So Chef, you know, right here, he's just going to, you know, want to continue to space out those moves. 
He doesn't want Lucas to get in, because once Lucas gets those grabs, I mean, mm -hmm. it's a fair amount of percent. So um, if he just stays out of it, or stays out of range at least, um, and avoids those grabs, he should be fine. Yama, on the other hand, though, you know, just, um, you know, perfect shield, all the projectiles, just try to find a way to get in. Can be obnoxious against Duck Hunt, but we'll see what he can pull through. You know, I, now that I'm watching it more, I, I think he might have picked Lucas just so that he can have the option of the second projectile uh, in his Zare. That makes sense. Um, or makes I guess sense. like the second disjoint, if you don't want to call it a projectile. Um, I've seen him use it a couple times to try and counter, uh, or at least play around the can as yeah. in tandem with this PK fire. So it kind of makes sense what he's doing here. Um, but like you said too, once Lucas can get that first hit in, he can get a lot of uh, he can get a lot of straight hits and string them together pretty well. For sure. Yes, conversions are fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they look fun. Uh, yeah, they're annoying to be behind. Yeah, that's but. true. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. That looks like it would have hit him. Did he spot dodge that? I think it just wasn't close enough. I wasn't paying t total attention, but I think he might have just not been close enough. It does a lot of shield damage. What does? PK oh, the PK. Face. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. But. Still. Ooh. Ooh. Trying to get, I, I like that setup that uh, oh. Shet does there, where he, he knocks the can in such a way where you kind of want to shield there and get the grab, but he was able to spot dodge in time, and Yama was able to steal that stock off. Yeah. So now that um, now that Yama has the advantage, uh, you know, he's at so much percent, he might just want to sit back for a bit, rack on as much percent before he can before this, if uh, he loses the stock, so get as much extra credit. Well, Ooh. we're kind of seeing a repeat of what we saw last game too where he, he took the he took the stock despite having <laughs> mostly a percent deficit mm -hmm. and then, you know, lost it to a can. Yeah. 77% uh, unanswered right now and catching that missed tech and no option afterwards with the PK freeze but nothing after. Mm -hmm. I saw him trying to go for that PK thunder too. <laughs> Very interesting. It's weird that they're uh, that it's called the same move, move as Ness but it's like completely different. Yeah, it is kind of funny. Yeah. Also, don't they like not use numbers in Earthbound in the Mother series? Like they use like um, like Greek symbols. You got me, dog. It's like I think it's like a PK fire Omega and then like Epsilon and stuff like that. Huh? And it's weird that they didn't call them that in this game. Well, they I don't. I don't think two. two is like the formal name. I think no. I think it is. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Like, I think it says in the tip somewhere that that's just what it's called. Oh, that's lazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. I thought, yeah, I really that's... thought that full charge F-Smash was about to take it. Nah, he would have just fell out. It's stuck on F-Smash. Facts. Fell out of it. <laughs> oh, my oh, gosh. The snipe. The snipe off the side with the PK fire? Yama. All right. Making a little bit of a flashy finish there, but 